Namaste, hello, and welcome back to another video on Hamsa Vahini Vajra Astra. I'm Ohone, and uh, this video is going to be about my very short TBR for Galaxyathon. Now, Galaxyathon is a bi weekly readathon which has been created and hosted by Macy from The Bright Side Girl. And I'll leave a link to her announcement video in the description box below as well as in the overhead cards above. Now, Galaxyathon is uh, about reading books which are space which are set in space so um, there are a few prompts uh, and uh, I have chosen a very short TBR according to those prompts because this is the first time that I am participating in galaxy -athon. and as you can see I'm actually wearing my cosmonaut um, t-shirt uh, for uh, making this video so do please join me further in this video <laughs> Readathon. So uh, the first uh, prompt is to read a book which is set on another planet and the second is to read a book which has stars on the cover. So I did uh, come across one book which I am also reading for another readathon which is Midgrade March and this is called Lion on Mars. So this is taking place on another planet. It's a middle grade uh, book, of course, and it's a science fiction middle grade book. It's taking place on another planet, which is Mars. It also has stars on its cover, so it fulfills both these prompts. And the premise of this book is about this boy who is born on Mars and um, they are kept secluded. The children of, uh, who are born on Mars are kept secluded and um, they grow up like normal children except that they cannot talk to uh, children from different colonies which are set in Mars. But then there is an epidemic which breaks out and all the adults in that particular, in that colony as well as other colonies get affected. However, the children don't get affected. So it is up to the children to try and save um, this uh, particular um, uh, colony uh, remains as well as uh, the adults so uh, the boy uh, or our protagonist um, takes over and he becomes the leader to save everybody and find out the root cause of this mysterious outbreak so uh, that's what the plot of this book encompasses so that's the first book uh, that I'm reading for this particular readathon the next book on my TBR uh, fulfills two of the prompts, which is to read a space romance and a space retelling. So this is one of the books which was recommended and was on um, Macy's playlist. I'll leave a link uh, to that particular playlist in the description box below, as well as the overhead cards above. And it's called In the Quick by um, Kate Hope Day. And um, this is a retelling of... Um, Jane Eyre. So I found this very interesting. So I don't know much about this book, but uh, from the premise, it reads as a young ambitious female astronaut's life is appended by a fiery love affair that threatens a rescue mission in the brilliantly imagined novel. June is a brilliant but a difficult girl with a gift for mechanical invention who leaves home to begin grueling astronaut training at the National Space Program. Younger by two years than her classmates at Peter Reed, the school on campus named for her uncle, she flourishes in her class but struggles to make friends and find true intellectual peers. Six years later, she has gained a coveted post as an engineer on a space station and a heart-won sense of belonging but is haunted by the mystery of the inquiry. A revolutionary spacecraft powered by a beloved late uncle's fuel cells. The spacecraft went missing when June was 12 years old. And while the rest of the world seems to have forgotten the crew, June alone 
has evidence that makes her believe that they are still alive. She seeks out James, her uncle's former prodigy, also brilliant, also difficult, who has been trying to discover why inquiries Fuel cells failed. James and June forge an intense intellectual bond that becomes an electric attraction. But the love that develops between them as they work to solve the fuel cells' fatal flaw threatens to destroy everything they've worked so hard to create and any chance of bringing the inquiry free crew back home alive. So um, that's a very interesting plot. So um, this book fulfills um, two of the prompts. So that will be the next on my TBR. Now, the um, next prompt is to read a book which has aliens in it. So this is one of the recommendations once again, and I believe this is on um, Macy's uh, TBR as well. I'm not too sure, but I'll leave a link to the video in the description box below and the overhead cards above. And this is called Orion Lost by Alistair Chislong. Or, um, yes, it's Chislong. So, uh, from the back of the book, it reads as, There was a ship in space lost. The transport ship Orion is four months out of Earth when catastrophe strikes, leaving the ship and everyone on board stranded in deep space. Suddenly, it's up to 13-year-old Beth and her friends to navigate through treacherous and uncharted territory to reach safety. But a heavily damaged ship, space pirates, and a mysterious alien species and an artificial intelligence that Beth doesn't know if she can trust means that Getting home has never been so difficult. With incredible twists and turns and an action-packed story, this is a thrilling, unputdownable adventure. So I'm really looking forward to this. This is also science fiction, and um, it has uh, space uh, pirates as well as um, aliens in it. So that will be the next book on my TBR. So those are the few books that I plan on reading. Do let me know what you think about them and if you've read them before. And uh, I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And um, with that, I'll be wrapping up this video. I'll see you soon next week again with another video. So till then, take care. Have a good reading week ahead and namaste.